And look, Stormy is ready to go, baby. <laughs> Damn. Who are you? I'm authentic, real name, no gimmicks. I'm authentic. I'm authentic. Who are you? Who are you? What up, people? It's Authentic Benny. And I'm back with another video, man. Back with another video. And today is going to be a busy, busy day, man. Oh, man. We got so much ripping and running to do today. And everything is pretty much dog related, man. Like this whole weekend. Uh, all the way up to Tuesday is gonna be busy, busy, busy. All right, so it's a quick update. Um, Y'all know Jazz is away right now, you know, at the reproductive hospital. You know, they've been testing her every day. Um, we actually shipped out on Tuesday and Jazz was bred on Wednesday this week. And um, they, we did a TCI, we went with the TCI option this time. Um, I've done it all, you know, from AIs to TCIs to um, surgical inseminations. You know, I've, I've done them all. And um, I had the most success with TCIs. I also had a little with surgical as well, you know. But that's only if you're real, real late on numbers and you gotta get it done ASAP and put it where it need to be. But um, TCI is my most preferred method to use. So they did a TCI on Wednesday, skipped the day, and they doing a TCI this morning. So I will be going to pick Jazz up this evening. Um, Stormy, update on Stormy, man. So uh, we've been getting Stormy uh, PG levels tested every two days. Every two days, we don't miss it. Every two days. So. Um, the last video that y'all saw, she went in on, on a Saturday, got her levels tested on a Saturday, and uh, she was at a baseline. We went back on Monday this week, got her levels tested. She came up, she creeped up just a little bit. I think it was like a one point, maybe not even a one, Monday. We went back on uh, Wednesday. On Wednesday, she was a 1.5, so creeped up a little bit more. So today is Friday, so uh, I'm about to go hit the gym right now, and then we're going to pick Stormy up. She already ate. She already had a bath and everything. Uh, she should be re getting real, real close to ovulation, so I'm real, real excited for that. Um, the stud on is on standby. You know, um, I want to thank uh, SN Frenchies. You know, that's the stud I use for jazz for the smooth, smooth transaction, man. Smooth transaction. Like, he made sure everything was good. When I told him, I, I updated him on the numbers every single day. When I told him she was ready to go, I'm talking about, boom, he was on standby with it. Like, quick with it. You know, he he uh, he uh went on ahead and collected, shipped it out ASAP, man. That's what I like. It's good business. Good business. It was there even before... Uh, we expected it to be there. So, um, smooth transaction. He sent two pulls, so he was able to get two TCIs out of it. That's what I like to see, man. That's what I like to see. So, shout out to you, man, for real, man. Uh, I can't wait to show y'all the stuff, but I'm waiting on confirmation for that. But y'all, y'all gotta be ready, man. We about to have some pressure cooking. It's about to be, it's about to be so fire, bro. Um, back to storming. Her stud is on standby. They located. Let me go ahead and roll this up. So y'all can hear me. Like I was saying, Stormy Stud is on standby. They located in New Orleans, Louisiana. 
So it ain't nothing but a hop and a skip away from here. So uh, whenever her numbers is right, which I'm thinking, they'll be real, real close today. So y'all gotta stay tuned to find out. Um, once the, her number's right, I'm thinking, I'm thinking around about Sunday or Monday breeding for, uh, for Stormy. And we're gonna do the same thing, you know, breed her one day, skip a day, breed her again. So, um, we gonna, we gonna, y'all gonna see the whole process. This, the stud owner actually does it all. You know, he gonna do the AIs, he gonna do the insemination, he gonna do everything. You know, once you pay the stud fee, everything is included. That's how it should be, man. If a stud is out there, a stud owner out there, and they don't, you know, get their hands dirty in a sense, you know, do it on their own, you should go find somebody else. Yeah, that's just what it is. You should just go find somebody else because nine times out of 10, that person only in it for a quick buck. You know, they only in it for what they can get out of. You know, I, I can tell just by talking on the phone with this dude and I can't wait for y'all to meet him. You know, I, I usually don't announce nothing until, you know, it's set in stone, but y'all gonna see the whole process. Y'all gonna see the whole AI. Y'all gonna see uh, the insemination when we come when it come to uh, Stormy. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some learning on, on you know, studying these dogs on, on uh, all this stuff because I will, I'm, I'm I'm in, man. I'm all in, and I don't want to be going to vets to do this and do that when I can do it all in-house. So it's definitely going to be a learning lesson for me, and y'all get to see the whole process play out. So um, I'm going to put this camera down, go ahead and get this workout in, then we're going to pick up Stormy, and we're going to go about our day, man. Let's go. Just leaving the gym. Got a good workout in. About to go get my girl Stormy. Then we gonna be on the way to the vet, man, and get them levels checked. She might be ready today, man. Hit them comments, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think she's gonna be ready today? Or uh, a couple days later, what y'all think? Y'all gotta let me know. I think she's gonna be real, real close today. I really do. I think she's gonna be real, real close to ovulation. Uh, like I said, she was a 1.5 last time my paperwork yeah she was a 1.5 last time so uh that was two days ago so we're gonna see she definitely showing signs like crazy 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 so um she should be ready man if so we're gonna be getting this breeding in this weekend but i'm gonna go pick my girl storm milk and then i'll pick y'all back up hey uh hey uh man look man look Stormy is ready to go, baby. Stormy is ready to go, baby. She uh at a 7.5, which uh, she's ovulating, you know. She ovulating, she ready to go. So uh, as soon as I put y'all down, I'm gonna contact the stud owner and we actually gonna get a breeding done today. Uh, let, me, let, me get, let me get bigger in the car right quick. Put y'all down right there. Come on, there you go. Um, like I was saying, we're gonna get a breeding done today. She is at a 7.5. That's why I say it's very important to go ahead and um, get your test done, get them ran, because uh, it just, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll miss the date if you don't invest in your uh, progesterone test. You know, that's just all a part of it, man. If you're not down to put the time in, put the money in, put the... So I had to pause y'all right quick to talk to this guy. He was asking about, uh, he saw Stormy and was, was interested. So uh, I had to tell him about the business right quick and where to follow us at. So um, back to the video, man. Um, Stormy ready, 7-5. We're gonna get a breeding done today, which adds more to the busy day it is crazy but um that's what comes with it man busy busy me um i'm gonna go pick mr b up he gonna ride with me so we actually gonna bring stormy um on the way to pick up jazz because he's in covington we scoop jazz up jazz gonna get a uh other breeding today should be around noon it's about nine o'clock now 
Jazz gonna get her second breeding, her second TCI done. And then uh, we'll head up there, scoop her up, and then we'll double back around, go to New Orleans, get the first breeding done for Stormy. You know, so, um, and then we'll come home, man. Yeah, I will be gone all day long, man. But like I said, it's all a part of it, man. If you ain't willing to put that time in, if you ain't willing to put that grind in, that effort, the money, because <laughs> it's 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 a home and leg every time, man. But it end up working in the end. You end up uh, bringing smiles to people's faces, which is why we do it. Man, make sure y'all follow Authentic Frenchies on Facebook. Also, um, authentic.frenchies underscore on Instagram. Make sure you follow them both and to stay up to date with all the puppy news, all the events, everything, man. Um, as y'all know, we got two litters in the works right now, man. Two litters in the works. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. It's definitely gonna be lit. It's definitely gonna be up, man. We got a lot of big things coming. And we got a brand new puppy coming that's gonna change everything. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that, man. Uh, I'm about to go run a couple of errands. I got a lot to do. And then we're gonna um uh, we gonna we gonna continue with this video, man. Let's go. Alright, y'all. <clears throat> we just pulled up, you know, to the um Stood on the spot, about to, uh, about to hop out the car in a few minutes. As y'all can see, it's pouring down, raining, you know. Uh, so we gonna have to make a run for it, man. I can't wait to see Bo. Uh, I've been watching him for at least, at least two years now, you know. Uh, I've been waiting on this moment. I knew, like when I first saw his pictures, I knew I was gonna use him. So, uh, all right. So um, to finally see him meet his owner, it's gonna be dope, man. It's gonna be fire, man. Put this phone down because it is pouring down raining, but I will pick y'all back up. Let's go. <laughs> Damn, bro, <Bruh. laughs> bro, he looked better in person. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. I know. They gotta come see the female, so. <laughs> I don't uh, I don't let them lick or touch no more. Only yeah. just to keep, okay. you know what I mean? Cool, just to keep cool. distance, but. All right. I know a lot of people let dogs do what dogs do, but right, right. it's better, I think. Oh yeah. Infection spread yeah. and stuff like that, you know? Right, right. So it ain't nothing. Man, he is amazing, bro. For real. He's a monster, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, a thousand times better in person. Yeah. Want me to pick up? No, that's cool, that's cool. All right. I'll take uh, his daughter out later too, so you can see. Oh yeah. I got a bow daughter too. I, uh, I saw a picture of when she was small, but. Yeah. Oh, go ahead and shout, your, shout everything out so people can come to you. Uh, I mean, I, I started uh, as Nola Frenchies. I know somebody made that in LLC, so we're just gonna be NF for now. Okay. Uh, Bo's almost retired, so most of, you were his last lock-in. Everything else from this point is really just going to be exclusive. Okay. You know, just to keep the bloodline solid. And, right. You right. know, he makes dope puppies, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at him. He yeah. Good. Yeah, I focus more on quality and not just quantity. And Right. He is just, he definitely he's amazing. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's going to do his little booty dance. <laughs> Get it, I'm ready when you will. Yeah, come on. Right. Get a little bit of blood inside of the, the semen. It okay. doesn't hurt anything. I've done surgicals like I that. I've had so that. I, I've seen happens, that before. If it happens, it's not a big deal. I know some people freak out about it. Yeah. So. You need her over there? Nah, he's cool. He's a, he's a pro. <laughs> he, look, he already knows. Right? <laughs> he, <really? laughs> he already knows. Right? That boy ready. Yeah. Do your thing, Bo. Settle down, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna work on making gorillas. Yeah. Blue Burrow gorillas at that. I know, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's got, he has two out of the 15, he's got two Merle litters. Yeah. I didn't have a chance to see those puppies um, in person, unfortunately, just with circumstances, you know? <laughs> So all I did was wrap them up uh -huh. gently, 
and uh, just hold on for the ride, and he'll do the rest. That's it. That's it. Wow. Yeah. I found with him because he engorges so much. I just got to be gentle with him so it doesn't hurt. You know, right. hurt him because he's he's a stud, man. I don't know. You know. It's just like that, huh? That's it. We just wait and collect. What's up, Stormy? I can't wait to see these puppies. It's, yeah. it's gonna be next level. I know it's his head, man. His head, and he's got he's got a nice big chest, big broad shoulders. He weighs shorter than what he look on pictures. It's like I know. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I got a. Uh, he's just dense, dude. He's a gorilla. I got a. I'm getting Tuesday. Bail. Yeah. So look, we got a clean pull. What what we're looking for is that right there. So that's good enough, more than enough. And you can see how cloudy it is, it's perfect. Right, right. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, so that was a good clean pull. A little bit more. Looks like it's around four to six, right at four. And that's perfect. So I could shoot for the moon and go straight for 10 milliliters, mm -hmm. but all you're pulling out is pecker fluid. Right. And it may look good in a picture, but it is, it's, it's not as concentrated as you want it to filler. be. It's just a filler, yeah. Right. So that's what you want, nice, dense, thick semen. And all it does is concentrate it. This way as a cervix, mm -hmm. it's pulling in all that semen. You're not getting a bunch of fluid and stuff that doesn't really do anything. Right, you know? right. So. What we'll do is uh, stick your booty up in the air at this point and fill it up. Ready, good? It's weak, you know. You just gotta keep going. I mean, you don't. It don't always like. I started doing car videos. Yeah. But uh, once I started doing dog stuff, I didn't get as many views. But that's what I do now. So now you just you can just hold her up like this, and now you should have full control over. Yeah, especially with him. I think people want to see him. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a gorilla, dude. Oh yeah. The thing I'm most proud about is the puppies he's produced. Oh yeah. yeah. I like uh, that. I think they call him Bo Junior or something like that. He looks just like Bo. Oh yeah. The, I think David Doyle has him. Yeah. He's like he's like a little version. I hadn't seen him yet, but we'll get together at some point. Mm -hmm. So this is the gross part. Um, I'll, I'll go in about this deep, right around this area, they have like a pocket that comes up to their back and then gets tight. So I'll stick my finger in there and ride the tube just over my finger, this way I don't hit the urethra and I get into the cervical cavity. So I'll show you and I spin this at the whole, the same time. So I'm, I'll go in far enough to actually find that lump, which is right, right about there, hers is a little deeper. You and every female is different. Down. Yeah, I cover. I basically cover her urethra mm -hmm. with my pinky so that I don't have a chance of stabbing her there instead. Okay. Yeah. There's people who are just really good at this and don't explain it in this fashion, but if you want to learn, it's the best way to learn without. Yeah. Because you don't want to hurt her, you know. Right. So I'm twisting just to make sure. Yeah. All right. So I'm in that cavity. What I do is I push and twist until I see a little bit of flinching up in here. Okay. See how deep that is? Wow. I know you've seen this before, but... And it's right there. That's it. That's all the way in, and I'll back it out just a little bit. So I'm like an inch and a half in that cavity. I'll put a little bit of air just to clear the tube, and I'm going to do this simultaneously at the very end. So I get that on there tight. And if this was pressed against her cervix, it wouldn't push out. So when you make that space, it'll flow a lot better. Okay. Just like that. Cool. And then the tube is mostly uh, clear. And I'll use that last little bit right there to pop it on the microscope. Right. So now all I do is keep it plugged. Because if you put her down now, it'll all come out. And just you know, get her cervix moving and doing what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. 
And we want that contraction so she soaks it in, you know? It's gross. <laughs> Disgusting. Hey, this man really, really know what he's doing, bro. Like, man, it's a lot of knowledge. A lot of knowledge. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just rubbing just below the tail to get that contraction action. And that'll get that cervix moving just like it's supposed to do as if it was natural. And I can feel it like, you know, I can feel a body reacting to it. Yeah, normally what happens is, that's a lot, that's what we do in the weather for you. At the base of the penis on most dogs, they have a giant knot that's like this and it swells up inside of the vagina and it'll lock them in together. So you see a lot of pictures of dogs breeding where they're actually like butt to butt and the dude's thing is just bent this way. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm simulating right now with my finger still in there is that lock to keep her cervix sealed so nothing comes out and it can do just like as it, it was natural. So when this happens, when a male is attached to a female, he's gonna be moving around and this will be doing the same thing, essentially. So you're so, just simulating a natural that's it. thing. The difference is, is I'm not gonna keep my finger here for 25 minutes. I'm gonna keep it here for just a few minutes to make sure it's locked in and then I'll start pulling it out to make sure nothing leaks out. So, so while we're on the blog, I'll just give you uh, a little bit of knowledge too. Um, everybody breeds different. Everybody has their own uh, way of doing breedings. They have their own thought processes and whatever their experience is based off of. Not everybody's gonna do everything exactly the same way. All I can do is the best successful plan that I've utilized before. So the things that I know and the things that I do, I learned from breeders in the UK who've been breeding for a long time and they've been successful. So, you know, some people have, oh, he's wrong. So he's not doing that right. Everybody's gonna have an opinion, but that, I mean, the truth is, is like, we spend a lot of money doing these breedings, trying to make the best pairs possible. You want to take the most amount of time as possible. Don't go buy a female or have a female, and then when it comes time for breeding, you're just thinking about dollar signs. Right. You got to follow through with the process. It'll never work. Right. If they all about the money, it'll never work. Right. So what I see is people get like, I'm not going to say lazy, but they want to be quick with this process. So you wait over a year for a female to come in the heat. You may have skipped the heat. However, whatever your decision is, right? But when it comes time to breeding, you don't want to do enough progesterone tests. You don't want to take enough time on actually doing the breeding. Yep. You're going to have less success. You have to take, this is this is game time, right? This is a Super Bowl. So we want to make sure that we, we play. Yeah, that's right. Make sure that nothing coming out. And we might get a little bit of dribble. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get a little bit of air fart from that. So, she looks good. Good. It's gross. It's gross. It, 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 it. No, you're good. Keep her up. We'll keep her elevated for like, um, I don't know. Let me see what time we started this. How long the camera been going? Seven. So we're seven minutes in right now. So another 19 minutes or so. Right. Um, let me do this real quick. I'll get the, I'll get the thing set up so you can check it out. Yeah, it's the, oh, there oh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing that I do, um, this is just for stud owners out there. I'm not saying go ride somebody's tail because they don't have a microscope. But one thing that I do as a stud owner, I have a microscope because I was learning cytology. Just Google cytology. It might game change um, progesterone tests. It's just, it's a learning curve. Anyway. So I have a microscope here. What I do is the last little bit of semen in the tube, I'll put on a microscope, just so you can see um, active semen in there and then learn about it at the same time. You know, a lot of people go to the vet and you learn a lot of brief information from the vet because vets most of the time are busy, right. you know? Yeah, they try to get you in and out most of the time. Right. They do. So I have this last little dribble that kind of, This is enough 
enough to have a full litter of puppies right here. So that right there? Yeah. It's just getting them the quantity in there, you know, right. to the right spot. That's the hard part. There's a lot of like to show you the concentration and the fertility of it. You can see how dense it is. Oh, yes. And this has been sitting in the plain air now for 10 minutes. Wow. So the, the more they're exposed to cooler weather, which this would be considered cooler weather, I think at 78, mm -hmm. they'll start to die off. Right. And you can see the how active they are. And another, another thing you want to look for is these little bitty cells that you'll see up in here. Yep. You see how they're bouncing around and going like crazy? Mm -hmm. That just means that they're doing what they're supposed to do. They're attacking little small objects right. as if it was an egg. Right. So, so like I said, I only do this just so you have the ease of mind. Like when you right. leave here, you, you see how dense that is? Oh, it is. It is. It's get up in the different layers. pay these high freaking energy bills. I'm telling you, they they drive us crazy with that. Man, she's gonna make little bow gorilla Ooh, puppies. Holy crap. They're gonna be amazing. Yeah, she's got an amazing body. I love the structure. Yeah. One of the best males that came out of that particular program. Yeah. And if you go on her Instagram, Demma's Bullies, her little image is both because she was so proud of it. Okay. I tell you what he needs yeah. to be proud of. And the and the funny thing is is that I didn't even want both. What? Yeah. I wanted I wanted to get another male and my wife just wanted a blue male. That's it. She didn't care about color, she didn't care about breeding. Dang. And you know how lives go, you just yeah. you, you, you better you gotta give them what they want. <laughs> you so better. after looking at literally thousands of little blue puppies, mm -hmm. she picked out both. Wow. And he turned out amazing. So, and one thing my wife has a good eye on is picking like super high quality mm. dogs from puppies. Yeah. And that's like the other aspect to breeding right there is identifying what's going to be dope as a puppy, right. you know, and not just taking a chance because one characteristic, right. you know, but she's got, she's got a good one streak. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but dad was a try. So. I don't know if she cares it or not. Oh yeah, she does. If he's try, if he's ATA or AT, AT, then she has at least one copy of AT or A. Mm -hmm. So A can make tri puppies, it can make solid color puppies. Yeah. Bo's ATA, so he'll throw one copy of that genetic to each puppy. Okay. So some of the litter will be tri. That's good. Yeah. Oh. Um, that means he's ATA. Yeah. So it's, it's the same him, thing. Though. Yeah. They don't make it good. Oh my girl, she's doing good. <laughs> she's pretty too. Yeah. Love my stomach. Yeah. She's nice and clean too, so that's what you said. My goal is to do this 100%. Yeah. You know. Well, so I know really some lucky. people who do it 100% and they're still selling puppies right now. So oh. that it's the most solid programs that are continuing to to make it in this market because they had the most quality program and puppies, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, so. I just want to get better and better. Yeah, that's my goal, just to. And then YouTube, too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I make like anywhere from 20 to 60 bucks a month or so on from my very small YouTube channel yeah. that has no organization yeah. whatsoever, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then I'm sitting at the table and my daughter's watching I don't even know the girl's name, but she's got like 93 million Millions. subscribers. Same I'm thing like, with my kids. They'll sit there and watch somebody play the same game they got. <laughs> 93 million? I'm like, I'll take I'll take one million. How about look, I'll even take a a half of a million? Just imagine how much they bring in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well the video was them on their private yacht. Damn. I forgot the girl's name, but you know, I'm sure everybody subscribed to her. She oh, got it. Probably so. Man, you could have recorded this and boom, put that on the. See, I thought about it so many times starting up a channel because a lot of people said the same thing. Like, you have so much knowledge to share. You do. And, you know, you do. I don't know why I never, I don't know why I never did it. 
people want to know. People want to. People need to know that. You know. I mean, when you when you get into like DNA specifically, you can download the app and learn all the different color combinations and how they go together. But when you really know it is when you can look at two different DNA strains and know exactly what they're going to produce at what percentage. And a percentage is wonky because it could be 100, it could be 25. Mm-hmm. It, it really just depends on what the carry throws to the puppy. Right. right. You know? Right. I never really was like super huge on color. I, I just like the way these dogs look. Yeah. Like structure, structure. is key, man. Structure is everything. And, and not only that, after having a crazy female, personality is another big thing. Right. You know, like Bo has a killer personality. Uh-huh. You know? So he's not just a stud that brings in breedings. He's he's our he's our family. You right. know what I mean? So like right now he's probably laying next to his mom. He's already over me. <laughs> you know? Like I told you, he gave what he wanted. He yeah, he's he good. He's, he got cleared out, man. He did. <laughs> that, that's what I always say, man. Like I ain't sharp and iron. Like I'm gonna mm-hmm. promote somebody. They could be right next door to me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna promote them or whatever. You know? Yep. I mean, that's one thing I always did, even in my career, even though I was wrongfully terminated, yeah. which is crazy, yeah. is one of my biggest, one of my biggest, like, pet peeves was educating people and growing other people's ambitions, showing them what they were actually capable of. Right. You know, instead of them trying to figure it out on, a, on, their, on their own, if I identify a path that, that actually works, and I want to share that with other people, you know, and so far, like, at least five people that I mentored at the old the contractor that I work for work for the company now. Damn. You know, and it's crazy because I don't <laughs> I got five and they got some you know it's crazy. But, but everything but that's just who I am. Everything happened for a reason. Dude, I'm always if people were like that, oh man. The world would be a different so place. Much better place. You know one of the best phrases that I ever heard was if you want to make a difference, you want to change the world, go home and do it. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't have to be on social media. Look at me. Look at me. I'm this person. Blah blah blah. Right. Go home and raise your kids how to love. Yes. Be respectful. Yep. Share. Be kind. Like this. These are simple principles. That's it. You know. That's it. Where we're at now, we're at the 30 minute mark. She's been elevated. Her cervix has had plenty of time to be saturated in the liquid. Yeah, we just say liquid. And given time for it to soak it in, because that's what we need, that seed to get in there and, and fertilize as many eggs as possible. She's over she's here. Asleep, huh? She's over here taking a nap now. <laughs> she's good. Yeah. So I think that's her telling us that this is a wrap for day one of the uh, AI. Mm-hmm. And she's good to go. She good? Yep. And we'll come back and skip a day and do this again. Cool, cool. With less of me running my mouth. <laughs> so that'll be Sunday. Yep, that's perfect. Cool. I don't have nowhere to be. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, as y'all can see, done deal, man. Done deal. Uh, it's still pouring down, raining like crazy. So I'm trying to maneuver through this. But uh, it was a successful breeding. Um, y'all got to meet Lewis. So I was in talks with him for over a year now. Uh, when I saw his stud like two years ago, I knew somewhere at some point in time I was gonna wanna use him because y'all saw what I saw. That's what I call quality, man. So shout out Nola Frenchies, man. You know, NF. Uh, shout out them, man. Cause both is one hell of a stud. And I know he, he only breeds exclusive people, but <laughs> I think I would too if 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 I had a stud like that, cause Bo is next level, man. Next level, man. Um, shout out again to Nola Frenchies, um, Lewis, man. I appreciate you. You know the hospitality, the knowledge that you dropped on the vlog, man. I appreciate you. Um, we coming back. Uh, we coming back. Uh, we coming back Sunday for a second AI. You know we're gonna get another one in. And uh, we're gonna vlog the whole way through. Right now, I'm headed to pick Jasmine up. She had her second breeding today. And it looked like we're gonna have puppies at the same time, man. Jazz and Storm are gonna have puppies at the same time, man. Two litters. Um, I'm really excited. You know, this vlog been long already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put y'all down. 
Make sure you follow the Instagram, authentic.franchise underscore on Instagram. Make sure you follow Authentic Frenchies on Facebook. And make sure you follow Authenticated on Instagram, man. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I hope you learned something. Till the next video, I'm out.